Hello! Welcome back. Today I'm going to make a little cylinder resin craft underwater environment in here. We have some sand and some two-part epoxy resin. I balance here, weigh out each part. I'm using a one-to-one -one ratio of epoxy resin and I have my gloves. I also have a little mold here that I got from Craft Kitchen, if you can see that. And this has little coral pieces and sea creatures and fish. So I'll be using that to make my aquarium ocean themed thing. Okay, so I put in a layer of epoxy resin with some sand in it. I'm gonna let that, or put that off to the side since it needs about 24 hours to cure. And the rest of the time, I'm gonna make some of the little sea creatures. It looks like there's three different types of coral. Sea turtle, octopus, two different fish, a seahorse, and a starfish. I'm gonna make some of those using some UV resin and I have some colored pigment and some glow-in-the-dark pigment as well as some colored mica powders. I have made some Coral pieces and some critters with different techniques using the mica powders and the resin colorants. I also put in another layer of sand and epoxy resin in here. It wasn't a lot, it wasn't very thick, so I thought a little bit more sand would be good. It needs to cure for another 24 hours. <laughs> able to have stuff put on it without it sinking into the resin, but for the critters, I have one seahorse, uh, two orange fish, two blue fish, I have three brain corals and three tube corals, and I have one like branchy coral. This one's a pain to make. I don't exactly have the smallest things to fill it in on the mold here. It is um, quite skinny sections and it looks really cool. But, uh, I struggled a lot with it. <laughs> so I only have one of these, which I made green, which kind of matches my three sea turtles. So that's a, possibly an oversight on my part. I have two starfish, a little octopus. These are obviously too much to fit in here, I think. But I'll probably do a few of the coral pieces, at least one brain coral, probably not all three. Not sure which one I like the best. And then I'll probably do either this sea turtle or this sea turtle, and I'll try to put it up so it's like actually swimming instead of like sitting on the bottom. And the fish I'll try to also put up and make it so it doesn't look like they're dead. Other than that, all the corals uh, will be going just on the sand. Uh, the starfish probably will as well since they don't really move through the water like they move on the surface but not like in the water and the seahorse should be able to hook on to the branch coral like this or something oh dear oh dear oh dear stuck or maybe like this or something. I'll probably match the tube corals and the brain corals up with colors. Like, these two shouldn't go together because they're very similar in color. These three look nice together. Like, this one looks nice with either of these. And so does the yellow. But, like, this lighter yellow doesn't look as good with these two. So I might do, like, these three or these three 
with like a branch as well. Something like that, maybe with a little octopus with them. Although like the starfish also kind of match color wise. So I might make another starfish. Maybe it will go with this. I do. And then the little fishies. I think I'm just gonna leave the fish as they are and not detail them in any way because I don't really want to paint so very very tiny. Also not 100% sure which way the fish goes. Like does it go this is the top or is this the top? I'm not sure. I think this is the top. But I'll figure out an arrangement and how many critters I want to actually put in here and then when this is more cured, probably tomorrow, I'll start putting it all together. Yeah, I'll probably mix the resin first, or at least like part of it. We have this large piku uh, to do that. I uh, mix enough so the color is consistent because I want to put like a tiny, tiny little bit of blue dye in it. Just a little bit. So you can still see through it and stuff. So that's what I have so far. So I'm going to start layering in my coral and creatures. I'm going to be using a little bit of UV resin for this, just to get it glued in place. Okay. So I have my three coral pieces I picked out and my starfish in here. I'm going to do a little bit of resin, epoxy resin, and then I'll figure out which sea creatures to put in. After a lot of struggling, I've got the branch coral with the seahorse in it seated and not falling over anymore. I guess I didn't put quite enough of the UV resin to glue it into place before putting the epoxy resin in there, so oops. It is a little dark in the blue color, so I'm going to mix up some more epoxy resin and pour that on top and hopefully it will, over time, fade, hopefully. <laughs> I think that's all I'm going to do for now. I'm gonna leave it to cure at this level. And then next time I'll be putting in at least a turtle. Maybe a couple more fish. We'll see. Hopefully the fish don't fall over since I didn't glue them in place or anything. Is this fish okay? Oh, it's a little falling over. But hopefully it's good. I think the water is still a little too dark blue, but oh well, not much I can do about that. Okay, so it's been enough time for the resin to set, mostly. The two fish I put in, the blue one down here, looks like it stayed up, which is great. The orange one that I put on top of the yellow coral, uh, looks like it fell down sad. I can't quite tell if it's in a line down like a dead fish, but I hope not. I kind of can't tell. It's a little too bubbly to see. Oh well. So this time I'm gonna do one more layer. I'm gonna put a sea turtle in and two more fish. Maybe. Or maybe just one fish. We'll see. 
There's a sea turtle. I guess the sea turtle does take up quite a bit of space. But this time, I'm going to be using my UV resin <laughs> to glue the fish into place so they don't fall over again. And also, so I don't have to fiddle with it like I did the seahorse and the branch coral because that was a pain. So I'm gonna do that, mix up the last resin. Oops, I forgot to clean this out. So I will be cleaning this out first and then we'll be mixing more resin, tinting it with a little bit of blue, hopefully not as dark as this, or I guess I should be similar color hue, otherwise it will look very separated. <laughs> so I'm going to clean up and then get to that. did one more layer. It looks like I'll need to do one last layer to get the turtle in. I want to put it, put the turtle in about here. So it's like very top of the fish are in for now and they're solidly in place. So it is cured again. I'm going to put some UV resin down and then put the little turtle on it. One more round of epoxy resin and then it'll be done. It has been enough time to cure. And it's time to unmold, even though the turtle's a little bit out. I think that's fine. I got it demolded or unmolded. There's the silicone stuck in a few places. I think it'll come off, but it kind of ruined the mold. Which is sad. It's not that bad, but there's now chunks missing from the mold, which kind of sucks. Also, very distinct layers. So, clearly, I did not mix my blue very well, which is sad. It still looks pretty cool. Where's the- oh, this fish did fall. That's so sad. Oh, and then you can see the two layers of sand I put in. It looks okay though. I think it wouldn't look so weird if this band of blue <laughs> wasn't so dark. That's okay. So it is supposed to glow, or at least some of the coral is supposed to glow in the dark because I put in some of the glow in the dark pigment. Well, I might try that. Turn off the lights and then show that. We'll have to find a way to get this off. It's only a few spots. Should not use my fingernails. Maybe I should have used some mold release. Oops, I didn't think to do that. But I don't remember if there was slight flaws in here to begin with or not. I've never really had problems before. I'll try to clean that up later. The starfish apparently glows. I didn't realize I put pigment in that one. The branch coral glows a little bit. The tubular coral clothes. Looks kind of cool. Not exactly what I was going for. If I do this project again or something similar, I will look into trying to figure out how to mix resin if I'm doing layers in the same color. Or maybe just use clear resin so I don't have to worry about it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. 
hit the like if you like this video, and subscribe so you can stick around and see what else I make.